Hi. Let me comb my goatee here because I just have my mask on. Might be messed up. Alright, now we're back with the vocational youth story time, I guess you want to call it. Uh, since the Miss Tobia thing was such a sensation, I guess, um, do another one. Now, Mr. Sollenberger. That's, uh, I, I liked his class too. I had him for history and economics. And usually I'm not too interested in economics. That bores the shit out of me, but he made it interesting. Um, now, I'm interested in, like, does the, the checkbook and the savings account balance out? That's the economics I'm interested in. Or can I get this Yankees hat at a better price at this store than that store? Anyway, so I love going to Mr. Sollenberger's class because, uh, like, you know, if you had his class and you fell asleep in it, you know about this. Or if you're awake, you know about it. You fall asleep in his class, and out will come the golf club. I love this. I couldn't wait for someone to fall asleep. I was like, uh, I hope some asshole falls asleep in Sollenberger's class. Here comes the golf club. So, <laughs> so sure enough, at least once or twice a week, some dumb fuck would fall asleep and wham on the desk with the golf club. Sometimes he'd throw a metal can over the back of his head. And it worked. They'd wake up. Yeah, I tell you, I mean, I guess it's a good thing he didn't hit someone over the head with the golf club. But I wouldn't have minded that. It made me laugh. I'm like, I didn't see a thing, Mr. Sollenberger. The guy's sleeping. You, you give him a good whack in the fucking head with the golf club. <laughs> and normally I don't like golf. I mean, I guess if I could hit someone in the head with a golf club, then I would <laughs> probably like golf. You know. But anyway, now my real favorite thing besides the golf club was the news. Every Friday he'd say... We bring you the news, spanning the globe to bring you the news to keep you, the vocational youth, abreast, so to speak, of world events. That cracked me up every week. And hell, with my man boobs, I should have come up there and said, why don't you let me be your uh, your model? I had those man boobs back then. What do you, I, I like chips and fast food. What do you want? You know? Hey, I'm honest. That's how I keep my pleasingly plump figure. All those nice burgers and chips. But anyway, I, I, I couldn't wait till Friday. It's news time. Spanning the globe to keep you, the vocational youth, abreast, so to speak, of world events. I'm sure somebody would whine and complain about that now, because nowadays everybody is offended by everything. You can't laugh. Oh, Jesus, I don't. You can't say this. We got that. Now they're having Yosemite Sam and Elmer Fun. I guess they're having them without their rifles in the cartoons. What are they gonna do? Fart? Ah, it's the whole thing. You can't laugh, you gotta mess with everything. Well, I got a goddamn news flash. In this house, you can laugh. And on my, <laughs> it was my wife laughing right now. And on my YouTube channel, you can laugh. We're not overly offended in this house. Oh, Jesus, everybody, I can't watch this, you can't watch this. Put the, uh, just shut the fuck up with all that. Every five goddamn minutes, I wanna get rid of this, I wanna get rid of that. I can't watch this cartoon. They're, I, they're probably going to start uh, messing with Popeye and Fat Albert because Popeye kind of is you know kind of illiterate, or they're going to say a mush mouth is speaking, you know, is, is making fun of people with a speech impediment. I'm like, and if they say that, I'm going to snap. I'll be like, mush mouth talks the way he talks. I but don't but know but Fat Albert. They're still his friend. So you better leave Popeye and Fat Albert. Two of my favorite cartoons of all time alone. Just don't mess with any cartoons. Leave it alone. But anyway, I can imagine what Mr. Sollenberger would be saying about this now. But, uh, and he used to make jokes about various towns around. He, he crack on Belmar. I'm from Belmar. I loved it. If you can get a good zinger on, it's funny. Let it rip, Kingpin. So, uh, but I, I heard some years later somebody complained about it. My mother told me about this. I got She got wind that somebody was complaining about him and they were going to do something. And I, I said, if they need me to come speak on that man's behalf, I will. He was a great teacher, funny guy, very fun, very funny. I don't know what ever happened, but if they needed me, I would have come right down there as a character witness and I would have said, leave this man alone. He makes learning fun. It's not boring. And if some sissy ass can't handle picking on her town or whatever, then you just go home, wall yourself up inside your house, and let nature or whatever run its course, and you can turn into a skeleton and go fuck yourself. So anyway, swearing, cursing, man boob grabbing, we're having fun!
We're laughing. 